All right, welcome back, and let's see if we can't finish up this puzzle and uh, maybe finally wrap up the dank tutorial. Tutorial, tutorial. I wonder if that's an intentional pun or if I'm reading too much into things. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go with that was intentional. Uh, having played at least a little bit of this game, uh, there's no way that was not... I'm really mad that I just realized that. Alright, let's let's wiggle at him. Her. It. Multimall wiggles back. Yeah, 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 obey the overmind. Flies. Whoop. Whoop. Ha ha! Alright, you get out of there. You do your little dance. It's quite the accomplished dancer, though. Look at that. So fancy. Get out of here, kid. You're alright. Uh, green switch. <sighs> do, do, do. Really like the music. It kind of reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. Um, and classic RPGs, and I don't know. I just. I'm a big fan. I'm a huge fan. Alright, what's through this door? Ah oh, yes, the toy knife. And there's a really cool scene here. Toy knife. Mine. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and... Oof. I'm full on stuff. All my stolen monster candy. I am the worst kind of person. Um... Use. Alright. Toy knife. Equipped. Uh, what else we got? We got that faded ribbon, I think, which counts as armor. Right? Armor. Because if you look cuter, monsters will be less likely to hit you. I don't think that always applies, but... It's good thinking. Let's go ahead and equip that. Swap that out with our uh, used bandage that was currently acting as our armor. Just a little gross, but whatever. And uh, let's go see Toriel. Strolling along. And what do we have here? That took longer than I thought it would. Surprise! It's us. Yep. No need to call, cause uh, we're here. Surprise. Ooh, surprises. I love surprises and frightening trees. This is a little, a little intimidating. Go ahead and hit up the save point. Alright. Very nice. Um, I think we're just going to zip through this and get to the end. Uh, yep. Nice lovely pie. Um, the house is cute. I'm going to show off the living room real quick. Just... Ah, look at that. So warm and inviting. Nice muted color palette. It's just... It's just good stuff and it gives me a lot of feelings. This is it. I'm going to go to my little room. With its basket full of Mismatched shoes. Alright, you can stop uh, rubbing my hair there. Let's look at it. 
It's lovely. Big old dragon plushies. Um, the aforementioned uh, chest of shoes. Only slightly intimidating. Uh, the lamp turns on and off. Uh, but we're going to take a little nap because we're all tuckered out from chatting with monsters and figuring out puzzles. Hey look, butterscotch cinnamon pie. My favorite. Uh, not much getting out of bed animation there, but that's all right. Butterscotch cinnamon pie, good stuff. Let's uh, go ahead and take a peek down here and see what's going on. Do 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 do. Going down some stairs. In a large, scary purple hallway, which seems to be a feature of the game. I think I should play upstairs instead. Um, what am I missing? I think I have to go talk to Toriel about some things. Try to avoid getting hung up on the uh, stair rails there. Alright. What a lovely book. Yep, I'm already awake. Glad to be here. I do like an old book, bug hunting spots, education, <laughs> Toriel, uh, wanted to be a teacher, tutorial, I'm still mad about that, I, I do like a good pun, um, when can I go home, cool, I'm, I'm stuck here. I don't really want to know about 72 uses for snails. How do I get out of here? Ooh, exciting snail facts. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a regula? I did know about the, um, the sawtooth tongue. I don't think chainsaw is the right word. That to me implies that it is gas-powered and spinning. Which is, uh... That's kind of terrifying, actually. That's really terrifying. Hmm. Chainsaw snail. I might have to go draw a thing after this. Maybe. Alright. You have to go do a thing. Is that thing down here? Do we uh, get to see what what is at the end of the hallway? Are you going to tell us to not follow you? I do want to return home. One way exit to the rest of the underground. And you're going to destroy it. No! I want to leave. Or at least I would like to have the option of leaving. Options are important. Every human that falls down here, we should say, oh, excuse me. All this having to get up at 4.30 in the morning to open is, uh, wearing me out. Blah, blah, we die. If we leave, Asgore will kill us. I, I appreciate the thought, but at the same time, it's not really your decision. So, uh, don't try and stop me. This is my final warning. I do appreciate that, but I do want to leave that badly. I want to. I want to see what's through the doors. I want to get get to the rest of the uh, the writing here. I want to know what's in store for me. All right. Skill check. All right, final battle. Are we ready for this? The answer may surprise you. All right, we could do act egg, but I have future knowledge, and I know that won't really do us a whole lot of good. Um, I will go ahead and say that I spent 
probably longer than I should like to admit um, in the live stream trying to figure out how to get past this. Um, and was thrilled to uh, discover the answer. I I really like playing a game where the puzzles are clever and not necessarily what you would expect and uh, give you plenty of opportunity to figure them out on your own. I'm making a point of not looking up anything about this game because I want to uh, I want it to all be new at least once which is why I'm looking forward to getting through this so uh, we can discover it all together man also this is good I guess exercise in the uh, fighting mechanic which I really like it's cute it's different it uh... it's just really nice as you can probably tell I'm not being extremely careful with any of this mostly because I know I know the secret the secret is uh, you pretty much can't lose as long as you keep going at it because Toriel is so kind and good that uh... she really doesn't want to hurt you which again took me forever to figure out because uh... I think we went through and tried five or six times to come at this um, and backed out because we were afraid we were gonna die and didn't know the implications of that and didn't want to lose time and uh... eventually I was said screw it we're just gonna we're just gonna do it and see what happens if we even if we die and uh... got our HP extremely low and realized suddenly uh, things weren't really hitting us and then I figured it out and had the aha moment a really nice big happy aha moment and I chuckled and realized how much I enjoy this game and how clever its writing is and everything and just man it's just it's been a long time since I've played a game like this that I've been so thoroughly enamored with come on hit me guys Whoop. yeah see Wham. Massive damage. Yeah. Yep, so that's that. And I don't think we can skip or speed up these dialogue options, so we're just gonna sit through this again. Not necessarily stronger than you thought, I just I know the secret man. I won't let Asgore steal my soul. I won't. I promise you this. Keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Yeah, uh, text scrolls way too slowly for uh, for my liking, and that's again mostly because I'm running OBS and playing a game and my computer is really old and in need of upgrade slash replacement. But it is what it is and I'm gonna work with what I have available to me. So I think we're gonna run just a little long here which is fine because um, we're finally at the end of the uh, tutorial slash intro and uh, after this, we get to move on to the uh, game proper, which is really exciting. Because I know playing the tutorial on the live stream the first time was great, and I, I can't wait to get to the rest of the game. Whew. 
Yes, my child. Later, Mom. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, that was really sad the first time I saw it. It's still kinda sad. I'm just really antsy about getting on with the rest of the game. Which is probably bad of me. Alright, let's go through these doors. More purple hallways. Seems an appropriate color for a ruin. Go up the little gradient path. Slowly strolling. Boop, 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 boop. Three frame walk cycle. Very nice. I really like how simple the game is. It, uh, it works well. Because it's not very much about the graphics as much as it, uh, it's about the characters and the story. Alright, flower, you jerk. Get out of here. Don't need any of your sass, buddy. Alright, quit bumping your gums. Let's carry on. Alright. Fade to white. Slowly fade to white. Undertale. The game. Ah, I'm so excited. Are you guys ready? Because I know I'm ready. Uh, Toby Fox, you have made a fantastic game, and I am ready to uh, take a crack at it. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time for uh, more Undertale. I hope you're ready for it, because uh, I know I am. Yeah, this is going to be good.